Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the uh, unlocked bootloader warning on your Motorola Moto G. So I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you've unlocked your bootloader, you should see this message here saying warning bootloader unlocked, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to show you how to get rid of that and flash the original Motorola splash screen onto there. Okay, so it's a real simple process. I'm just going to guide you through really quick um, before you do this I highly recommend just backing up all your important files like pictures and videos just to be on the safe side okay so first thing you need to do is you need to download these two files here the Motorola drivers and also the firmware restore lock and more 4.4.3 so you need to download these two files I'll leave a link to both files in the description down below okay so um, so you're gonna open up the link for the Motorola USB drivers And this is how it should look. Sorry, I made a mistake. Not Motorola USB drivers, Motorola end user driver installation. Right, so this is how it'll look when you open it up. Okay, so you'll need to choose the drivers for the bit PC, what you have. So if you've got a 32 bit PC, you're going to choose this option here, this link here. Or if you've got a 64 bit PC like me, you're going to choose this bottom link here. So just choose whichever one you've got and download it. And it will give you a zip file like this. So what you need to do is you just need to right click on your desktop and make a new folder. then drag and drop that zip file into there and make sure it looks like this make sure it says Motorola end user driver installation and then you're gonna right click on it and select extract here to extract you will need WinRAR or zip7 I prefer to use WinRAR um, so it's finished extracting there so just select this option here at the top Motorola end user driver installation click on it and then go ahead and select next and it'll install all the drivers you need I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because I've already got them installed I'm just gonna move that out of the way okay the next thing you need to do once you've installed your drivers You'll need to download this, like I says, the firmware restore lock and more 4.4.3. Once again, I'll leave the link to it in the description down below, like I mentioned earlier. So once you download that, just right click on your desktop, make a new folder, and then drag and drop that zip file into there make sure it looks like this firmware restore lock and more 4.4.3 right click on it and extract here
Okay, so once it's finished extracting, just go ahead and open up the folder. And it should look just like this. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to turn your phone off. Now you need to put the phone into bootloader mode. So to do that, you need to press the volume up along with the power button for roughly three to four seconds. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. One, two, three. Okay, it didn't go into bootloader mode. I'll have to try it again. so power off it can be a bit tricky it might take several attempts before you get it into bootloader mode so volume up and power one two three there you go so once it's in bootloader mode it should look just like this Now just connect your phone to the USB cable. So I'm just gonna put the camera down real quick to do that. Okay, so make sure it says USB connected there. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit blurry. But just make sure it says USB connected there in yellow. Now what you need to do is go back to your desktop. And you should see these options here, restart and relock bootloader for wipe. So if you select this, you can restart and relock your bootloader. If you select this option here, restore motor logo instead of unlock logo. This will um, get rid of the unlocked bootloader warning. And if you select this option here, this will downgrade your firmware back to Android 4.4.3 KitKat. So this is the option we need here restore motor logo instead of unlock logo so just go ahead and hit that and it flashes within one second and as you can see we no longer have uh, unlocked bootloader warning so we can unplug the phone Now the phone book boots up with the Motorola animation there. Can go ahead and close that down. Just show you one more time that the unlock bootloader warning is gone. As you can see, it's no longer there. Now it says Motorola, a Google company. 
So yeah guys, that was just a quick tutorial video. Well, not really quick, it was over 10 minutes, but as you can see, it's really simple to do. It's just a quick video to show you how to get rid of it. Um, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave any comments in the comment section down below. Um, be sure to share the video with friends. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Deuces.